John Coleman, I imagine that is one of those where you're left imagining or wondering what might have been, what could have been, what should have been. Toss and coin, isn't it? You know, two good sides playing good football. Game could have gone either way. Turning point, really, for those couple of turning points, really. We could have gone two 0 up. Unbelievable save by the keeper. Twenty seconds later, the ball's in our net. You can say it's naive defending by us. You know, we're going in for the long throw. We switched our right back to take the throw. We're always going to attack. We had enough men back. We just didn't follow runners, and we got punished for that. That invited them into a game they've been ever in. Um, bit the bar again after that. Um, Sean's had a deflected shot that could have gone in. Uh, but I think a big turning point in the game, and I, I've never seen this in football, but Michael Nottingham getting booked because the ball bursts is ludicrous. He's clearly stopped. This, the air is hissing out the ball. He stopped and take, took a step back from the ball. The sensor's not going to do that. Either. Their lads run to the ball, then he's been forced to take him down because the referee hasn't stopped the game. Now, in hindsight, he should have picked the ball up and given it to the ref when it was burst. But that's put Michael Nottingham on the back foot for the rest of the game. And that consequently made a big, big impression on the game today. It's not the first time, it's not the last that we'll talk about the officiating. Should you have been playing 10 men? That's off for me to comment. I saw it. Everyone's seen it on the video. I've seen it back on the video. It's not my job to do that. That's their job. And they'll have to analyse that themselves. Is there a growing sense of frustration, John, with, the, with some of the officiating? We talked about it before the game, even. I don't want to blame the officials. You know, we should have defended better for the first goal. The second goal, even if you don't think it's a foul, Ethan decided to, to block the short free kick. It's hit him on the foot and gone to their lads and the scored. So, but, you know, we've, we've just switched off. And you can't switch off places like this. Good players who move the ball well. And, you know, they have flashes. You can see flashes in the second half when he moved it well. But he didn't really trouble us. And that's the disappointing thing for us. And when you're there, 20,000 people, the biggest cheer of the day was when Ethan Hamilton's free kick went past the pub. And that will tell you everything you need to know about how far that has enough to Is it all the more galling that Sam Morsey wins the free kick that they ultimately score from, having been involved in an incident, let's say, where it looked like he punched Ethan Hamilton? Listen, we don't get away with anything. We've seen that the last two weeks. Um, yeah. But fourth official getting swore up by their players from a yard away our player gets paid for the set but I don't want to go down the road to referees top referees you know we, we were guilty of falling asleep once or twice for the game we couldn't should have won and to be honest if we drew I'd have been disappointed I'd have been flat if we did drew so in my eyes we've only lost one point losing. and you know we should have took all three but that's for another day you started the game really on the front foot you've talked about wanting to attack everywhere I know you're not a take the positives in the immediate aftermath of defeat person, but in an attacking sense, you cause problems. Well, I didn't like the way this game was built up. You know, physical Accrington against free flown Barcelona at Ipswich, a load of nonsense. You know, some of our passing was sublime today. Some of our one such movement was great. Uh, they were good as well. You know, they did pass it well, to be fair. But this is a myth. Just because we've got players who are over six foot doesn't mean you can't play. Um, that's Ronaldo. Uh, so I think that's a myth. But listen, we, everywhere we go, we're going to try and win the game. We're not going to come here and try and get a point. That's for sure. Uh, and people know that. Uh, you've only got to see the, the way their crowd reacted. How much they feared us. And that's testament to Ireland. Is it a perception thing? Are you being perceived a certain way? I don't know. But you need a lot of luck in football. And, you know, over the last three or four weeks, the luck slowly started to turn against us. Like it did... You know, mid-November, you go one or two ways. You bleat about it and you say, oh, oh, woe is me. It's not my fault. It's it's the it's bad luck. It's the curses of the demons. Or you work harder. So you take luck out the equation. That's what we've got to do. Jervich Bagalou into the side today. Got the 90 minutes. What did you what did you make of that performance? He cramped up a bit at the end. Yeah, he it? cramped up in the 94th minute. Uh, well, you know, making your league, full league debut. Once was 20,000, dear. Didn't look hard a place, did he? Um, got a good future, haven't we? And we've got David Morgan back on the pitch. I believe Shane McKinley's on the comeback trail. That must be a really positive sign, personnel-wise. Yeah, I mean, 
you know, we're, we're playing Sean and John are the strikers. And they're doing great jobs for us, you know, Sean's been very unlucky not to score tonight. John was very impressive in the first half. A little bit of a knock on the ankle. Um, Sean put some great crosses in. Uh, but, you know, the, the little bit of inventive, the little bit of pace that they've got and can bring on, we haven't really. You know, when Louis' game, you know, he came on today and from South Bolton nearly got a, an overhead kick again. But you need a little bit of pace in the forward areas. And, Hopefully Rosier will bring that as well and we'll maybe get one or two more in before the deadline. Yeah, is that forward recruitment a priority? I think so. 